Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So a lot of you have been asking me questions about what should you choose? Should I go for masters of architecture or masters of landscape or some masters course? Or should I go for a certification course or a diploma course that is offered here in Canada? So in this video, I'll be talking about what will be probably the best decision for you for your career future and for the perspective of your PR and what should you choose. So this video is basically to give you a better understanding and clarity of what is happening here in Canada and what will be the best decision for you. So without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. So guys, let's get started with the first option that is your uh, certification course and diploma courses. So all the architects and architecture related students that are coming here, I would suggest that certification courses are still good. They are still valid, but don't go for certification courses like project management. A lot of people from India are going for project management courses and you have to understand that project management is not a, a stream specific course anyone anyone coming from any field can do project management course so don't go for these things go for specialized courses where the requirement is that you need to have a four-year bachelor's or five-year bachelor's degree because unless and until you have that requirement in that course that means that that course is just a very general and very basic course it's not a specialized course so in 24 25 i think every student if you are watching this go for courses that are specialized courses for example bim course you can go for you can go for architecture technologist or a technician courses so these courses are very specific and specialized courses so uh, it's not like the other courses are bad but they are just general courses you won't get a good job and probably you will even face problems in your work permit as well the next thing is you have to see uh, which fields are in demand again construction field is still in demand uh, the jobs that are in construction field are still in demand bim is in demand architecture technology is in demand uh, architect is also a profession that is in demand but Again, if you are an architect in India, don't consider that you are an architect over here. The process is totally different. I have made multiple videos about how you can get registered here. What are the documents that you have to submit? What is the process to go through? So you're not an architect here. So you won't be eligible to apply for your PR as an architect unless and until you do your CACB registration and you work as an intern architect. So these are the uh, criteria to apply as an architect. Next is your experience. So guys, in 24, 25, I think the competition is still very tough. There are a lot of professionals and a lot of students that are architects and international students that are architects and they are still struggling to find job here in Canada just because they don't have any prior experience. Of course, your previous experience doesn't count, but your previous experience at least gets you into a highlighted zone where people think that, okay, I can barely trust him, but I can still trust him a little bit because he has shown some kind of experience back home. So consider one thing uh, as an advice, uh, if you are a student over there right now and you are thinking that I'm going to go for my master's course in Canada in probably 25 or 26, I would say start your job. Even if that job is paying you very less, get some experience because that experience will help you to be a better communicator over here. It will open you up where you can talk professionally to people you will know how architecture field works of course the field is totally different over here but still it will help you a lot next point is your masters masters is the best option because in 2025 uh, things will change more because the new government will be coming they will make things harder for immigration so you have to think about this that things can go bad for um, 
diploma courses, certification courses and things like that. But master's courses will be still uh, very solid and they will also give you a solid credibility and credential over here so that bigger firms can hire you uh, people will show more trust in you you will have a spouse visa you will have your work permit there won't be any issue uh, you don't have to prove that okay i'm doing masters of architecture is this related to my field or not if you are an architect of course only then you can do masters of architecture plus after masters you don't have to specifically register to cacb once you are done with your masters you are registered in CACB and you can start working as an intern architect, clock in your hours. You have to clock in around 2500 hours and then you can give your exams over here. So masters, I would suggest is the best, best option for all the architecture students out there because again, things are not guaranteed over here. Right now, certification courses and diploma courses are uh, still good. They are still valid. But of course, do these courses only in your specific specialized areas. Don't go for some random courses like project management and I don't know what all things are out there. So don't go for those courses which are open to everyone. Go for very specific field related courses that will help you in getting your PR, that will help you in getting your work permit. Even if things change in future, it will you will be still protected. So my advice is, if you can go for masters, masters is the best thing, full stop. But if you have like, you know, uh, financial uh, liability and financially you need more uh, investment in masters, that's why you can't do masters. Then for that scene, I would say go for very specialized uh, certification and diploma courses. I hope this video gave you some clarity about what's going on. Things are getting harder and things will get more harder. So I would say first, take experience before going for any postgraduate diploma certification courses. And if you can go for just master's courses, and if you are not able to get into master's course, go for certification or diploma course only in very specialized areas like architecture technician or BIM or green architecture and things like that. Don't go for project management course. Don't, don't take project management course. It's full stop for project management course. I'm tired of that. And don't even ask me, should I do project management course anymore? So that's end of the discussion and i hope this video helped you and if it did please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel your support is the only thing that helps me to keep make these videos uh it's sunday today i'm still sitting here writing a script researching about things just because of all of you and all of your support so please make sure you support the channel subscribe like and comment on my videos uh, it helps me to reach more audiences it helps other people because i am trying to help other people so yeah support the channel and i'll see you soon guys bye bye